Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is SLF4J and how does it work with an example. So what is the full form for SLF4J? It is Simple Logging Facade for Java. So SLF4J means it's a library which acts as a facade for other logging frameworks. SLF4J acts as a wrapper for other logging frameworks. For example, Logback, Log4J, Logging and Jakarta Commons Logging etc. It is an abstract layer for different types of logging frameworks so that we don't have to change the code or often when we change the logging framework. Let's see an example. I've created a very simple Spring Boot application and I've created a class called logging demo with main method and I've already added the SLF4J API. So in the pop.xml file, I've added the dependency and I'm also going to use Lumbok. So this is the library for SLF4J. So in this class, I'm going to create a logger with a variable log and I'm going to call get logger. So you can see this API is coming from SLF4J. So we are not specifying any specific logging framework but we are using the facade and inside the main method i'm going to log some test message so here i'm using the template to pass a variable so that i don't have to concatenate because when i concatenate it might result in performance issue so when i run this program you can see logging is happening here and with the template variable so let's see how can we use lambda for slf4j so here you can see the slf4j annotation so the moment i add this annotation there will be a variable called log would be generated and injected to this class for example it will be like this so what are the benefits of using slf4j it's really easy to use it supports most of the main logging frameworks and it's well documented and widely used so we have a big community hope this small information about slf4j is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to my channel thank you